Hello, I'm Michael Rowe Jr. and I'm your friendly neighborhood bad influence. And guess what? So far today, I've gone 16 hours without getting kidnapped. I hope I can go for 17 and a half. But I have a bit of bad news. I've been banned from the graveyard. Now where are they going to bury me if I die? Hmm. Pity, pity. Hmm. You know, I got something really cool on eBay today. Would you like to see what I got on eBay? Here's what I got on eBay. I got an E. Yeah. It's one of the best things I can get on eBay. Hmm. <laughs> but you know, when I was in high school, I noticed that all the other students were always waiting until the last minute to study for an important test. How kind of mature. But not me. No, not me. I didn't wait until the last minute to study for a test. I was waiting for the last 25 seconds. But you know, when I was in high school, I wasn't very popular. You know why? See, when I was in high school, I was ignored by all the important people. I was ignored by the cheerleaders, and the women's trim team, and the prom queen. But I was also ignored by everyone else. I was ignored by the suck-up jocks, and I was ignored by the faculty and staff. And I was ignored by the audio-visual nerds. I was ignored... I was supposed to ignore by the bullies. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, they always go... The boys always go out of the way to beat up people for being different or illusory. But they always ignore me for some reason. Yeah. So the, the, the bullies that uh, never once hit me over the face with a book or pushed me down the stairs or set my clothing on fire. I was so deprived. Why can't I have been more popular? <sighs> but, you know, I went to Wendy's the other day and I found something very disgusting in my box of chicken nuggets. I found a french fry. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, speaking of that, I joined a really good club. It's called the Picky Eaters Club. And the Picky Eaters Club, membership is only $20 a month. It means every Thursday, and Picky Eaters get together, and we talk with other Picky Eaters about foods that we hate, and we'll see who has the most in common. We, we all p pick a restaurant that serves food that we don't like. And on the third Saturday of every month, we protest against that restaurant. Yeah, the Picky Ears Club. You should join. Yeah, I joined. And I got a free Broccoli Sucks t-shirt. I've also ordered a, a Down With Meatloaf t-shirt and an I Hate Spence t-shirt. All because I'm in the Picky Ears Club. But you know, I'm tired of talking about foods I don't like. How about foods I do like, you know. Hey, last night I had some good seafood. I had some crispy chicken. And some cooked carrots. And some creamed corn. And some chocolate chip cookies. Mm-mm-mm. Great seafoods. Hmm. That's so great. You know, you've been watching this for for a few minutes. Uh, any show of hands. How many of you think that the punchline to my next joke is going to have a predictable punchline? Hmm. Anyone? Okay, place bets now. Okay, place your bets. Hmm. Okay, you know, I remember when I was in high school. I used to play Hangman, because I was always the man who got hung. You know, I've played Hangman since. <laughs> and, you know, now would be a good time, time to end the show. Let's see, I'll see if I can think of a good finale. Let's see, think. My girl, think. think. Uh oh, my hand's stuck. <coughs> oh no. No, this hand's stuck. <coughs> oh, that's so. Oh. Let me have stuck to my stuck to my what? <laughs> uh oh. Well, I think I'm stuck. Huh? Well, good night, boys and girls.